odor of vibration. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house that you can get yourself into. Ask the receptionist if you can see the odor of vibration. If the worker clamps his hands over his ears while you are saying the last word, quickly do the same. The sound that you have triggered is no ordinary sound. With your hands over your ears, follow the worker down a dusty hallway. Do not try to listen for the sound that is still being made. Ignore it to the best of your ability, no matter how fascinating it seems. Keep your hands over your ears even after the worker has removed his and told you it is safe to remove them. He will lead you through an open door to a decaying cell. The creature inside the room will be nothing you have ever encountered in your life. Even if you have been hunting for objects for as long as you can remember. With your hands firmly planted over your ears, shout as loud as you can at the creature. What resonates with them? The creature will turn towards you and try to remove your hands from your ears. Do not let this creature's sound touch your ears, or you will understand why it is no shape that you recognize. No matter how forcefully the creature tries to pull your hands away from your ears, keep them there, because it is grunting and moaning to try and force your hands. No matter how long it takes, keep your hands firmly in place over your ears until the creature tires. If even one of your hands is dislodged, then the creature's sound will reach your ear, passing through your hammer and anvil, and eventually leaving its permanent mark on your brain. If, however, the creature tires of struggling with you, it will begin to speak. Now you can concentrate on what the creature says, but keep your hands over your ears while it talks. It will tell you about how and why it feels the objects belong together, along with horrifying tales of what was done when they were one. After it finishes its tale, it will ask you to spare it, to let it live and be free once more. Do not allow this creature the freedom it wishes. It was made into its form for a reason. Instead, with your bare hands, you must rip the creature to shreds. It will scream its mighty yell, weakened by a physical form that is being destroyed. If you are even the slightest bit distracted by anything you are doing, you are doomed to become a piece of the creature. You must feel no remorse while you do this, lest the pieces of the creature perceive you as weak. You must put this creature beyond any form of repair, or else the pieces will come back to life and assimilate you into the creature's next form. If you succeed, the creature's pieces will be scattered all over the floor, with a tuning fork underneath one of them. The tone that plays if you strike the tuning fork is Object 290 or 538. May you never match its pitch.